Hi, welcome to another training video of the Somatic Manager. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, do subscribe it. And in this training video, we will see how we can take a backup of a CPU, Siemens CPU properly. Because sometimes it happens with me that I have taken a backup of a Siemens CPU and at some point the CPU fails and I have to replace that CPU. But when I tried to copy the blocks and I uploaded the same program to that CPU, and it happens that this CPU doesn't work. To explain you guys that why this happens and how we can prevent this and how we can take, take proper backup of a Siemens CPU. So first of all, to take a backup of the CPU, Siemens CPU, we need a MPA port. Well, for this particular training video, I am using MPA port to connect my CPU with my laptop or a PC. So to connect my CPU with my laptop via MPA port, I need cable, programming cable, which is somatic A2 USB cable. You have to download its drivers. These are available on the Siemens website. Once you have downloaded the drivers, you just have to install and it will work fine. So let's start. So this is the CPU that uh, I will try to take its backup. And as you can see, the tag cable tag is showing MPA. So this is our MPA port and already one adapter is connected here i think this one this adapter is used to connect one hmi and so we will connect siemens adapter here which is for mpa and via this adapter we can connect our pg with this cpu so like this we can connect our adapter this is the adapter which we will use to connect our cpu with our pg so let's start first we will open our somatic manager for now we will press cancel button otherwise it will create an empty project here just close the existing projects and we will just create a new fresh project you can give it any name we just click upload station to pg and uh, you can see it is already showing some error that with this current setup the step 7 communication is not possible with the current interface so i have to change the interface okay if i press the view button still same message so i will just go to the control panel and then we will click on the pgpc interface setup and I, as i am using a2 mpi cable i have to select that adapter and press ok now it will select that interface as you can see it is also showing the pc adapter usb a2 mpi interface in the somatic manager also now we will go to the plc and upload station to pg now you can see it is reading that CPU at MPA address 2 which is CPU 4142DP. Okay, we will select that one, press OK button. And it will take some time to get ready. Now it is uploading to PG. It will copy all the blocks from our CPU to our PG. So it is right now copying all the blocks. So, alright, so this is the normal procedure which we normally do when we take a backup of the CPU. Here are the blocks that are uploaded from our Siemens CPU. And if we go to the online, it will show online memory of the CPU.
you can see there are many many other blocks which are in the CPU these are system blocks now if I go to the offline you can see very less blocks So this is the issue we should copy all the blocks otherwise what happens sometime when the programmer is commissioning the machine he will put some temporary tags variables which are not which are not being loaded when we take the backup from the CPU To copy these tags or variables we have to copy we have to go online in the CPU memory and copy all the blocks so this is our online system this is our online memory here you can see there are many many blocks okay just arranging all these things these are our offline programming blocks and these are our online programming block So we will just copy all the blocks by selecting with Control A command. We will just press Control A from the keyboard and then Control C for copy. And now we will select our offline block and paste here. It is now saying that OB1 already exists. So we have to overwrite all the programs. So we will just click all. Now it is copying all the function block or system function blocks data blocks everything whatever is in the online program Now our online program and offline program are same. We will just close our online program. If I go to somatic setup and we will check hardware configuration. My hardware configuration is also loaded in our offline program and you can see there are two modules which are connected interface modules which are connected via profibus to our main cpu and there are some io cards also there if you drag down a little you can see the basic information about these modules and io addresses now we can save our backup you can put any name and date this is the proper way to take the backup of the siemens cpu if we just copy offline block or whatever it is reading from our cpu by uploading to pg which is not enough we have to go online copy all the block then you are sure that nothing will happen when you are sure that nothing will happen when you upload that backup into the new cpu So thanks very much for watching your, my videos. So thank you for watching my, my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. And for the next time, goodbye.